Welcome back for another book review. Today, we're talking about this one. So this is Taking the Leap, Freeing Ourselves from Old Habits and Fears. I don't know how to say the name, so I'm not going to try because it has fancy letters that we don't use in English and I don't know how to say them. So instead of butchering words, just skipping. So briefly, this little book goes over a couple of, I guess, more Buddhist philosophies. I don't know which particular brand. It sounds like maybe Tibetan Buddhism, but again, I don't know a lot about it. So I don't know how like accurate it is, how well it's written on that front, but it definitely has a Buddhist base. And basically the premise of this book really comes down to one central point, and that is just to be present in the moment. Quite a few times the author is going to mention taking three deep breaths, just pause, and then just don't have those emotions again. <laughs> like, obviously, jumping in. I didn't like this book. I gave it a three out of five. Honestly, this was the most not helpful book I have read in a while. And like, I think it just comes down to the fact that in the deep parts of my soul, I'm probably not a Buddhist. <laughs> like, I like some of the concepts. I like some of the ideas of it. But like, I just, I, mm, no, no, I, I think the old gods are my thing. And it just, it, I, mm, I don't really, I don't know. The, first of all, the writing is very, very boring. It reads like you're going to a kind of, a, like a lecture of some kind where the author doesn't really, again, acknowledge your presence as the reader. It's not a conversation you two are having at all. It's just kind of, <laughs> and it does feel a little dated a bit because it constantly is referencing back to 9-11. Don't get me wrong, not a great time. Also, it was 20 years ago. Like, there are full-grown adults with children of their own that are born after that time. And, I don't know, it just felt, it made it a little dated. And, like, some of the examples were pretty awful. Um, again, like, I, I just, I know that I'm a judgy person. If you're an asshole and you, like... Her examples remind me of the uh, You Can Heal Your Body book or whatever. Not Heal Your Body. Um, the Body Keeps Score. That book, some of those examples were very similar. Not as graphic, but still. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Y'all are fucking assholes. Goodbye. Like, I don't... I do not have within me to forgive you for being that level of an asshole. If you didn't realize that that was a problem to begin with, that you probably shouldn't do that, that you shouldn't behave like that in the world. Like, I just don't ever want to have anything to do with you. Like, if I found out that this person had ever been like that, like, I'm never talking to you again. Like, bye. The world would be better without you. Like, it, the, oh, the examples where it's like, act, like, there was one that she was like actively thinking about ways to kill her brother. That's not normal, dude. You cannot like your siblings actively planning murder and then going and talking to murderers that are in prison for doing that and being like, I relate to you, bro. Like, that's not, you need therapy, not a tiny little pamphlet book. You need therapy. And like the soldiers that are absolutely the worst and are just beating up random people, not even making sure they're other soldiers. And like one of them, he was like, oh, well then I felt bad when I figured out they had Down syndrome. And I'm like, Okay, but what about the people that, like, their disability isn't on the forefront? And also, like, huh, they're just people, too. And then it's like, oh my god, then I realized that, like, maybe I shouldn't be a dick. It took you that to realize that it had to be something that hit home for you? To realize maybe you shouldn't brutalize people? Okay. And also, like, I kind of, based on that example, it really makes me wonder, were the people they were attacking actually soldiers that they thought they were attacking. I don't know how other countries run things, especially 20 years ago, but like, I kind of have a feeling most countries aren't going to send someone with very blatant Down syndrome into war, just saying. So more likely than not, they're attacking randoms, more likely than not civilians. Like, I just I don't know that I can ever be like, oh yeah, sorry dude, like, oh, you learned your lesson. And like, even the Dalai Lama was like, oh, well, 
the, like this monk or something had come up and was like, I want to do this particular training path, whatever. And he was like, well, actually, you're only supposed to start that in your teens, so you're too old. So the person killed themselves so that they could be reincarnated to do it properly. That's a problem. And it's like, well, I don't hold any regret. Like, he does, but he doesn't. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I get that people make mistakes, but like, I don't know. It's one of those, like, I just... When I heard that, it was like, oh, you're a gatekeeping kind of religion. Don't love that. Nope, 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 not my thing. Which, if that's your, th if this is the one that works for you, that's fine. Just don't be an asshole, regardless of what you believe or don't believe. That's the premise. And, uh, yeah, just some of those examples just, it did not, did not click with me. There's plenty of other fine ones, you know? The classic starts off with, like, the two wolves inside and... Of course, it's kind of a generic, like, well, a Native American, and you're like, but which tribe, which person came up with it? You know? Just, just, but Kind of thing, like, it's an African belief, and you're like, but which part? This is like a whole continent. Like, which one? Same with Native American, like, you also could include Canada. That's a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> like, which one? Anyways, the concept of the two winter wolves, and one is anger, and one is peace, and whichever one you feed, and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know, I just, mm, sometimes the Norse gods within are just like, what the fuck? No, no. And not to say that they're any better by any means, but I just, modern context, I, mm, I just didn't love this book. So if you are into Buddhist philosophy, you might get something from this, but I do think you need to be a little well versed in it before. There's a lot of like people and concepts that are just very briefly kind of described-ish. And I feel like you just need to know a bit more, like be a little more intermediate level of knowledge on Buddhism before jumping into this and it might make more sense and if that's your thing you might get more from it. Personally I was just like, okay, yep, nope, not my thing, not at all. And uh, some of the reviews were also not digging this book either, but like, they like the person just not this writing, so maybe it's better in person, I don't know. It wasn't my favorite. So anyways. I'd love to know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons. If you would like to support me and get access to exclusive content, it is patreon.com slash nightmillowcrafts. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I post every single day. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and bless be.